us praise and pray. Father, we're here in your presence to bless you, to praise you, to boast in Christ, the Lord God. Will you give us ears and hearts to hear gladness, to magnify you and exalt your name, your holy, righteous, perfect name together through Jesus Christ. Amen. You may be seated. With joy and gladness and praise and worship to God the Father, God the Son, Jesus Christ, and God the Holy Spirit for this marriage ceremony. But for this precious couple, it's more than a marriage. It's more than a ceremony. It's the beginning of a marriage, beginning of a life together through Jesus Christ as their Savior and as their Lord. And in this, we joy in Christ. Who gives Johanna in marriage to Tim? Your mother and I. I invite you to look at the scripture. It's printed for us that Johanna and Tim have chosen as their prayer, as their passion, as their mission in marriage. It's printed for us from Psalm. Look at it. It's printed. I love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield, and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. This expresses their passion. Their hearts cry. Look at it. They love the Lord Jesus. That's more than an emotion. They're committed to him because he is first committed to them. They believe that God the Father has loved them so much that the Father gave up his one and only Son for them. And on behalf of all those the Father gives to the Son, that Jesus is God-man. That he lived that perfect life. That he died on that cross and took the punishment and judgment that Christ did not deserve. They believe Christ took that judgment upon himself. To give them Christ's own righteousness, Christ's holiness, Christ's perfection whew, that they nor any of us could ever earn or deserve. And so in response to Christ who has first loved them, they say they're committed to him. That Christ only is their rock. Christ is their defense. Christ is the one who delivers and rescues them. He is their refuge. He is the one to whom they run his shield. He is their shield, their defense, their stronghold. And for their passion toward Christ, they would invite all of the family, all of the friends to also place your hope and your trust and your very life in Jesus Christ as your Savior, as your Lord, your God. Amen. They invite us to join with them in singing their prayer. It's a wonderful prayer. It's printed for us. It's a prayer. It's a hymn. Let's stand and sing this as our prayer with them.
Tim, will you repeat after me, please? I, Tim, take you, Johanna. I, Tim, take you, Johanna. As a gift from Christ. As a gift from Christ. To live as my wife. To live as my wife. I promise before God. I promise before God. And these witnesses. And these witnesses. To be your committed and faithful husband. To be your committed and faithful husband. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In plenty and in need. In plenty and in need. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Amen. Johanna. I, Johanna, take you, Tim. I, Johanna, take you, Tim. As a gift from Christ. As a gift from Christ. To live as my husband. To live as my husband. I promise before God. I promise before God. And these witnesses. To be your faithful and committed wife. To be your faithful and committed wife. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In plenty and in need. In plenty and in need. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Rings. Rings are a wonderful, beautiful symbol of our commitment to Christ, to each other and to a watching and listening world until death separates us. Thank you. Johanna, do you receive this ring from Tim as a gift of his commitment and faithfulness to you for your joy, for the honor of Christ, and for his good. Do you receive this ring? I do. Tim, do you receive this ring from Johanna to wear in the honor of Christ for her joy and your gladness as long as you live? Do you? I do. Johanna, Tim, by the authority of Jesus Christ and the bride of his church and the laws of this state, I pronounce you husband and wife. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, Jesus Christ, who has loved you, who has died for you, who has made you a part of his bride and through the Holy Spirit as God has brought you together may no one ever separate you for your joy in his glory let's pray Father we shout we sing praise to you through Christ we believe that before you created this world, you chose and elected a family into yourself. And you've been chosen and included Tim and Johanna in that number. You've brought them to yourself. And now you have brought them together as husband and wife in marriage. Will you protect them? Will you provide for them everything they need through the good, through the hard, through the pain, through the difficult? Will you prove the sufficiency of, his, of your grace in Christ for the honor, praise, and worship you deserve for their joy, their gladness, and the joy and gladness of multitudes? In the name of and in the authority of Christ, we pray. Amen. Please listen attentively as Tim and Johanna have asked me to share these truths to you in appreciation of what you have meant to them and of their desire for you to continue ministering to them. These are their words for you as I share. Johanna and Tim thank all of you here, their family, their friends, 
They've received your support, your guidance from so many, and they admit and acknowledge that they've needed this. They also acknowledge and admit that they want your support to continue now, even as they are married. They believe that marriage is not an isolated relationship. But marriage is worked out in a loving, caring community. Tim and Johanna believe they need your love to gather around them, to invest in them for the remainder of their lives. And they ask you to do this for them. That your hands, your feet, are the hands and feet of Christ to point them back to the Savior as they go through difficulties. Assure them of Christ's goodness when they find it hard to believe. Remind them of Christ's protection and Christ's presence when we're so quick to forget and doubt. Remind them that Christ will provide for their material needs when they arise they ask that you rebuke them and correct them in their sins. When they wander from Christ, show them grace. They ask you to show them grace when they repent. And essentially, to live as their family, their spiritual family, they sincerely and humbly praise God for you and thank you for your ministry to them. Tim, you may kiss your wife. <laughs> with joy, with gladness, with praise and worship to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, we introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Tim Swan. Johanna Swab with their family invite you to join them for their reception out the doors the building to the left out the doors the building to your left we're excused to go and join them thank you 